What happened in 1994, guys? The last Metroid, the baby Metroid. So, anyway, what's up, guys? I'm Tenonic here with Super Metroid. Brand new Let's Play because we have finished um, Mario Kart 8 200cc. I might come back to it though, but um, yeah, so let's get right into it. Make a new save data. Start the game. The last the Metroid, last Metroid is, in is in captivity. The galaxy is, the at, galaxy peace. is at peace. You know, I'm actually gonna. I'm probably gonna speak in my reading voice. When I first battled the Metroids on Planet Sebus, it was there that I fo foiled the plans of the Space Pirates leader, Mother Brain, to use the creatures to attack the galactic civilization. Yeah, if you guys don't know, um, I have this thing called a reading voice, which I am talking in now. And I would do that whenever there was like a sub for school. I next fought the Metroids on their homeworld, SR-388. Completely irradiated them, except for a, a larva, which after hatching followed me like a confused child. Also, there's a funny story, um... One of the subs actually thought that that was my real voice, and everyone was when everyone was laughing, she's like, "Stop making fun of him!" And it was the funniest thing. But anyway, I pre—I personally delivered it to the Galactic Research Station at Crest Creek. I don't know how to say it, Mama Luigi, so scientists could study its energy-producing quality qualities. I don't know. Qualities, whatever. <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you. Scientists' findings were astronomical. They discovered that the powers of the Metroid might be harnessed for the good of civilization. Yeah, so whenever I can't pronounce a word, I would always say "mamaluji." <laughs> Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt, but I had hardly gone beyond the asteroid belt when I picked up a distress signal. Korea's station was under attack. Alright, now we, now we can finally play. You guys... Oh, wait, no, actually, never mind. I was gonna say, I think I unlocked this in um, Tab Amoeba, but I didn't. But yeah, let's go to the space colony. Yeah, so this is one of my favorite Metroid games. Actually, it probably is my favorite Metroid game ever. Because I didn't really like Prime. Prime 2 is actually, I feel like, better than Prime 1. And Prime 3 is pretty good too. But in my opinion, Super Metroid is my favorite. Cause I don't really like the 3D Metroids to to be honest. They're just like really confusing and I don't know. I just don't like them. Yeah, let's do the disco. I don't know if I should speed run this or not. Cause speed running, you have to try to get hit um i don't know what it is i think it's the head the powerfulest but yeah you're supposed to get hit you now so that he leaves and then he leaves and yeah probably gonna speed run this because this game is meant to be speed run like i i feel like i think the the highest um the lowest amount of time for this speed run is like 10 minutes or something crazy like that. It's really crazy. You 
Yeah, but I, I heard that there was has been a HD 3D ma remake of Super Metroid that's online, but it doesn't look that good actually, cause like you don't fight Mother Brain actually. I've seen it online before. You could probably find it by just searching up Super Metroid HD remake. It's not like 3D, but like it's like 2D, 3D. Like if you know what I mean, like kind of like uh, New Super Mario Bros. 2. But anyway, we're going to Planet Sebus right now. Landing our ship for good. So yeah, this is the planet that you're gonna be in the be in the whole game. Sorry for my voice crack. Ah, uh, fuck shit. All right, so. I'm gonna try my best to speed run it. Ready and go. Alright, so right now we have no abilities at all. So, yeah, in order to unlock the first one, you have to go. I think it's like all the way down. Is it? Yeah, I think it's all the way down. Yeah, okay, so then you just drop over here. Whee. And then keep dropping. Alright, it's hard to get used to these controls, because... It's actually really hard controls, because your B, B button is to run, and then... X button is to shoot, and they're like, right across from each other, and it's really annoying. So yeah, we're going to be getting our first ability here. And this is actually where um, the original Metroid started, where you start down from here. And then you go to the left, and you find a Morph Ball. Yay, Morphin Ball. Alright, so we already have our first ability. I don't even get what the point of this thing is. Like, why is it staring at you? Is it like a security camera for Ridley or something? Because if you guys didn't know, that was Ridley before. The person who took the Metroid. Alright, and so now we'll get our second ability here. Which is the missiles. Yep. I know this game too well because I probably beat it like... I think this is my fourth time beating it. Yeah, so after I complete this let's play, it would be my fourth time. But I'm not exactly sure. Wait, how do you oh, select? All right. So if you go right here, you get another five missiles which in total now we have 10 can be really useful cuz our first real boss I wouldn't really call it a boss but um kind of is but yeah it's extremely useful now having 10 missiles so we're all done here going to be going back up now that we have our missiles and morph morphing ball, we can explore almost everything. Except for the things that we need. Bon oh yeah, forgot. Sp space pirates come now. So yeah. Gotta defeat those things. I don't know how they came here. Like They're like, hey. I heard someone was walking through. Let's go get him. Or maybe she's just hallucinating. Or maybe it was those cameras. Like the cameras like... Someone's here taking our morph ball. And missiles. It's like the three of bears. Stop. 
These space pirates are really annoying because you have to kill them all in order to get to the top and open the door. Because if you don't kill them all, um, the door won't be open. Like it'll be closed, and you have to. Just really annoying. But yeah, now we have all these enemies here. All because you took the morphing ball. Alright, let's see what's in here. Alright, we can't go in there now. You need the bomb, the bombs. Alright, I think we can go in here, yeah. Alright, let's see what's in here. Okay, this is the boss, I think. So I don't really want to be here yet. Or do I? Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go. Alright, so... Oh, wait, no, this isn't the boss, okay. It's the map room. This is the map room. I got. why am I getting all these voice cracks? <sighs> okay, well, now we have the map. Door to Explorer's map. On the map, on the map, on the map, on the map. Alright, so, we're missing one missile. Which isn't that big of a deal. Alright, so let's go save. Actually, let's get that missile. Alright, so the save room's right here now that we have um, the map. We can see that. It's in the upper right corner. Alright, so let's keep going. Alright, so those things you can't actually kill the red thing up there. Which if I can get back up. Yeah, so. I'm not actually speedrunning this because I'm doing really bad right now. I'm not used to the controls because I haven't played this game in like... I don't even know how long. Last time I played this was probably a year ago. Alright, let's get some more energy back. Alright, now that we're good. Oh, wait. Alright, let's get some more missiles. Give me some missiles. Thank you. Alright, now we have all the missiles. Alright, so let's go get our new ability. The bomb. Okay. So, let's go back. Oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, God. What happened? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm trapped. Oh, God. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, this used to scare me as a kid. But, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just keep shooting. His head falls off and he's dead. <laughs> yep. That was our first boss. Okay, so now that we have the bombs, we can um, advance to the new place. First, I want to get that item that I showed you guys before. I think it's a missile expansion, but I'm not sure. It might be an energy tank. Yeah, so now we have the bombs. We can go right through there. Alright, so I'm not going to go through there first. I'm going to go down and back over here. Alright, so here's the place. So what we have to do is... Got to go through here now. Alright, let's see what we get. Yeah, it's a missile expansion, okay. So now we have 15 missiles, which is really good in the beginning of the game. Because missiles are actually really useful in this game. I felt like missiles weren't that useful in like Metroid Prime or any of the 3D games. Because they weren't really used for anything and they are pretty slow. Like missiles in these games are really fast. But in the other games they were pretty slow and... They're really hard to use too, like just to uh, use them. 
Oh my god, I fucking hate. Oh my god, I hate this guy. The only thing that you can do to that guy is freeze him, and that's the worst you can do. You can't kill him at all. So, let's go through here. And... Speed run! Just go down here, all the way. Doesn't matter about my damage, because I got an energy tank. That refills, refills my health, and basically giving me an extra life, basically. And so let's go down here. The only way to kill these guys is with the missile. Keep going. Alright, so in this place, this is where you end up um, at the end of the game. Once you beat all these bosses, you can then go into the end and um, beat Mother Brain. So we have Kraid right here. We have Ghost Pyre or something. That guy. And Ridley on the top. But yeah, so once you beat all those guys, then you will be able to go down to... I forget what the last part was called. I think it's called Lower Brinstar. Or something like that. And that's where you'll be going to defeat Mother Brain. Alright, I'm gonna ignore those things. So now we will be able to go down here. And I think this is a new section of Zebus. I think this is Norfair. I'm not exactly sure. Let me see. No, this is Brinstar. So, what was before? Alright, whatever. Let's just keep going. Okay, so... We have new enemies here. Yeah. So we got two doors here. I'll go to the left one, and then right after that. Alright, so it looks like we have a new item, I think. Maybe a missile expansion. Because usually when it's like all this type of steel, it usually means that, um, that you get a new item. So let's see. Oh, no, it's just the map room, okay. Now that we have the map of Brinstar, it's really useful. The map's really useful, and basically every game because it shows you where the items are it shows you um if you got the items or not it shows you where the save rooms are it's really useful all right so let's go to the right side now all right let's see what we got here all right so yeah, we can't go any further because we need the um the speed booster. Um there's actually a way to get over there, but it's really hard. You have to like sprint and then like duck into a morph ball and duck under there. And it's just really hard. Speedrunners can do it easily cuz they have so much practice, but I can't do that. And with that, you can actually get um, super missiles really early in the game. And really, it saves a bunch of time. But, yeah, so... I don't know, I think... Uh, I don't know when to end this, but I'm going to keep going, actually. Alright, let's see what we got here on the right side. Oh yeah, so this is where we're supposed to go. Let's just run through here. Bomb this. Alright, go through there. Alright, so... Here we are, over here. Um, There's a save room up there, but I'm actually gonna 
go down here because there's a pretty useful um, item that you definitely need in this game. Um, it's extremely useful and it's in every game. And it's the charge beam which I'll show you later. Just need to get that missile. And let me go down here. Bomb through there. And here it is. The charge beam. Comes extremely useful. It's basically as powerful as a missile except it doesn't um, use ammo. And it... Um, what else? Was gonna, it doesn't use am ammo and... But it does take a while to charge up. Like, I have to charge it up all the way like that. But anyway, uh, let's go through here, and I'll probably end off the video, like, once we get up to the save point up here. Yeah, the only thing- I don't think the save points in this game actually heal you, which is really annoying. Something that I don't like about it. But other than that, this game is really good. Uh, those guys are powerful. Oh my god. They do 20 damage per hit. Alright, so let's go on the save room. Oh my god. Fuck this shit. Alright, so yeah, there we go. Alright, let's save it. And I'll end it off for the video now. So thanks for watching and um, stay tuned right here on Nintendo Nick for more Super Metroid. Bye.